Welcome to Freeloaders. I'm Mike Papa Foxtrot. And I'm 3T. Freeloaders is a regular look into what is or has been free to download for the PlayStation Network. We download the games and give them a play and see if they're worth the download, bandwidth and time. This time we're looking at Deus Ex Mankind Divided and these are our first impressions. So, we're both probably now sitting looking at the menu. Yes. Um, are you ready to start the story and Let's see where we go? Let's have a look at the story. So, we'll give you a rough idea of uh, our first go at the game uh, so you can have a good laugh at us uh, i'm ready when you are um i've moved forward into story and New game. Uh, i now have the options of give me a story give me a challenge or give me a deus ex i'm gonna go with give me a story <laughs> makes it nice and easy um, so mankind and, um, divided which is the main lots subtitle of options going on here uh, uh, the controls. Right. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, this is a. Is this a difficulty level then? I guess. Yeah. Yes. There we go. So mankind divided is easy. What are we thinking? Standard. We've, we we are quite uh, seasoned first person shooter players. I think standard might be uh, up to. A, we might be up to the task of that. What do you think? I think so. Um, I'm just looking at the the change of controls. Um, because the takedown becomes the circle, oh, uh, and the crouch becomes the L three, whereas the uh, in the standard, the takedown is still the R three. Uh, crouches. I have no idea. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> as long as I can look down my sights and fire, I'm probably okay. I uh, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> what, what are you going with, Stan? I'm leaving it as it is because crouch seems familiar enough to me. Reload seems familiar enough, uh, and as long as I can L uh, L two and R two R two look down sights and fire, I think that'll be enough. This is actually funny because this is where we started. Before we started recording, we were talking about which axis, <laughs> uh, which axis Mike Papa Foxtrot needed to invert <laughs> because he's an inverter. Right. Uh, I'm on Mankind Divided. I'm going to hit X and move forward. Oh, and then so I'm that's, get that's a easy then. You're on the easy <clears throat> level then. I don't know. Is that standard then? Do we need to go back to standard? Oh, I see oh, what you mean. So that is just, uh, that is just <laughs> control scheme. Too late. It's moved forward now. Don't ask me what I'm doing. So you're on <laughs> Mankind Divided. Is... I don't know. <laughs> I'm going for standard. Oh, story and I'm subtitles. afraid. Out of the box. Too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about this recently with a friend about how some games hold you on rails for too long and other games just never let you get off the rails. Yeah. <laughs> it is unfortunate. Uh, Mm. But we talked about that but, last uh, time as well in uh, in our pilot episode. Um, we don't like mm. uh, we don't want to overuse the term, but hand holding it can be excessive in modern games. Um, I just like well, to be given a, a, a level where I can just go and explore for a bit and work it out myself. Well, yeah, I mean, usually the the best the best sort of game invention would be I'm watching news at the moment and people yeah, being same. murdered and things. Um, uh, the, uh, the the be the best sort of introduction level is a level that isn't really on rails but pops up little prompts to tell you what to do. Yeah. And then after you've been sort of taught all of the basic run, jump, stab, crouch, you know, you know, draw and put my gun up to my eye, you know, level my rifle, that kind of thing. Yeah. Then the game starts for real. Oh, hello, there you go. Enjoy, enjoy your game, and all of the prompts go away. And if you weren't paying attention, that's up to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and maybe yeah. there, maybe if, if if in an easy mode they are there if you want them, or you have some kind of options that you can pull them down and actually have a have a look. Prey was quite good. I don't know if you've played Prey. Prey I've was never quite played good it. No. With that. No, it wasn't. It doesn't seem to have been a very popular game last year in in 2017. It doesn't seem to have been that popular, but it's a very good game. It's got a very good intro level where, without realizing, it teaches you everything you need to know, and then you step out into this sort of auditorium area of this place, which I'm going to be very careful how I word it so I don't ruin it for anyone who hasn't <laughs> played the game. Um, and basically says, "There you go. You can do what you like now," and just opens the sandbox for you. Yeah. Um, and the only way, if you if you miss a if you miss a tip, you have to sort of dig through the um, dig through the options to actually find out what what 
I missed. You have to read each of the prompts to say, oh, okay, that's a new new skill I've learned and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing this is story that we are, we are seeing going on in the background. I've I got think so. Somebody, um, somebody in, uh, in combat fatigues um, and a very impressive ski mask around his neck. Um, you oh, might be slightly further Ringo. ahead of me. I can see Ringo. Um, just while we're waiting for actual gameplay to start, uh, you have played some Deus Ex before, is that right? I think I have on a PC a few years ago. Of course, I I'm, I'm don't know if it's the same, the same Deus Ex, but I seem to remember having it on a PC back when I was a PC gamer a few years ago. Um, <laughs> I just remember it being pretty much a standard first-person first shooter. I mean, they're all shooty shooty bang bang <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've never I played it i've never I... experienced it um i think part of um part of my frustration with this free game uh, which i mentioned to you before we started recording is that there's no or there doesn't seem to be any multiplayer um and for me that's mm. that's where i enjoy first person shooters the most i'm not a big story player i know you will always play through stories for for most mm. first-person shooters, but I'm not all well, that keen. That, but hasn't, isn't that been the debate from 2007? I mean, this, is, this was what um, a few of the game companies and what EA, this is some of the controversy with, uh, with EA as well as loot crates, is that people don't play stories anymore. And I think, well, actually, I yeah, I think people do play stories, but we also like an on-game component, but we prefer... I, I'm being asked a question now. I'll wait till you get there, because maybe you'll know what the question I'm supposed to... If I hammer X, is. will it just take me there, do you think? Uh, no, because I think you have to watch the story. Oh. <laughs> right. I wish I'd started but, sooner. But, 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 the, uh, but the, the, so the, the, the thing is, you know, I, I like, a, like a nice story to play through. I don't buy a game, you know, for maybe five hours of campaign or story, whatever you want to call it, and then just for the online. I like there to be as, just as good a story as there be uh, an online element. Um, yeah. And I find that very few games can do that for me um and it's mostly the uh the shooty shooty bang bang games that that, <laughs> that tick all the boxes i mean that said i have to say you know back to the old classic grand theft auto provides an absolutely fantastic um story campaign whatever you want to call it and um a reasonably nice online experience but it's um more Showing or less sort of a waiting a waiting room Oh yeah, but it's more or less a waiting room, isn't it? It's a lobby. Yeah. It's a lobby idea, um, and it was the same actually with um, with um, Red Dead. Red Dead uh, Redemption was uh, very nice, very excellent story. Yeah, but you yeah. also have that online component that works quite nicely. Um, are you being asked a question yet? No, I, <clears throat> some meeting. Somebody just jumped through a window. I, I seem to be seeing bits again and again, all the same stuff that I've seen earlier. I don't know. Um, I'm wondering if because we started at different different th different things that we actually uh, now have a slightly different game. <laughs> oh God! I should have just clicked what you clicked. I don't. Well, no, it was me. I clicked the wrong thing as well. <laughs> um, what's this? So I've got lethal or non-lethal. So I've got uh, we've got UC in here. That might be easier to maintain cover, not only, or I can go lethal. I'm going to go lethal. Let's go kill things. I've just hammered X because I can't be bothered. Uh, I've got the Square Enix logo. Idos Montreal. Skip. Yep, I am impatient. Non-lethal or lethal? You said which one did you go? I went with lethal. I'll go non-lethal. Uh, oh, we go. Short range weapon or distance combat rifle? Let's take it nice and close. Let's go short. Yeah. Let's have a revolver. <laughs> <laughs> This is one of the one of the this, this lots and lots of um, set up right at the beginning. I'm not really liking liking this sort of having to pick too many options at the beginning kind of oh, thing. I know. <laughs> is this kind of I a, just want a how your ethical everything how your character is made up based on the first few decisions you make? I'm never sure if I like games like that. That said, I do like games like that. I mean, go back to Prey. You make decisions as you play through. You kind of decide what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. You change it. And quite a few games, I suppose. But this is just like two questions right at the beginning. I mean, I suppose it's are, are you playing to kill? You know, are you happy to be close up and deadly? So, uh, yeah. uh, I'm in Dubai, 2029. 20, so, um, 
Okay. And some very as nice long as there's not too much airships. dance, dance revolution of uh, picking things and. Oh, good. All the tail numbers on all of the tail numbers on the drop ships are different. That's good. They're not just the same re th same thing reskinned twice. <laughs> 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 and yes those details do annoy me yeah so it looks like i'm about to throw myself out of the back of a drop ship meanwhile everyone else is staying behind yep i'm on my own i'm right. a good few seconds behind you here so um, i'm just seeing the uh the tail that's all right difference. once i let once i land on the ground it'll take me a few seconds to work everything out i'm probably just right. going to go hell for leather and shoot whatever i can because uh i don't want to spend too long i'm trying trying to remember what this game reminds me of um i mean it, it reminds quite quite a lot of games actually it, it's got a very much a sort of a oh good I, i'm happy now i've got a reticle <laughs> i've got a reticle that's all i need i've got a reticle i can snap down my sights i'm getting oh i can push triangle to sprint that just seems very wrong because i mean i'm pleased with how pleased they are about how much they've animated his hair but I really don't care about like the little video bits of jump into the ground just put me straight into the Sitting action there. right um, yeah well I mean the thing is you kind of need I suppose the story to um, to get yourself going um, okay I've got a menu I'm just trying to work out uh, I suppose I'm heading towards that little hexagon which is down there all right well if I jump off here will I die probably uh, not, no because I've already fallen out well. I've already fallen out of the sky so uh, so you why can crouch are these through cones? this fan, I guess oh you can grab them I can grab cones oh Vent I'm cover. not swapping me gun for a cone you must be joking <laughs> <laughs> no <Nope>. throwable <laughs> So you go through some mm -hmm. fan vents. Um, yeah, that's what I am. We're now we're now basically um, we're now up to uh, where. Oh, hello! You probably got to pull that off. Open. Oh, it's Ugh. third person tap. to climb a ladder. Ugh. <laughs> Can I shoot ah. birds? Can I shoot pigeons and seagulls and shit? Excuse my language. Oh, I don't know. Third person to uh, climb a ladder is not too bad. It's not letting me shoot seagulls. It's sort of lost me already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit... Like, if you hold... Um, can I rotate and throw? Oh, hello. You can throw boxes. Oh, that's nice. Can I make them... Over the edge. Oh. There it goes. I'm happy with that. <laughs> so, just... Can I throw a box at a seagull? <laughs> <laughs> Press X to jump. Oh, yeah, we're at exactly Move the same point. Forward. That's good. It doesn't actually let me jump, though. Oh, no. I see. Yes, I'm going over here. Oh, and then I push X to jump and hold. Okay. Mantle. Um, yeah. Can I shoot somebody? I yet? suppose this is, this is just teaching us the mechanics of the game, isn't it? That's what it is. It's just making sure you were paying attention in the briefing that we weren't. Yeah, no, I really uh, am never going to do that. I have managed to somehow change my ammunition loadout, and I don't know how. Grab. I well, chose a stun I gun. I, I feel like I've almost literally shot myself in the foot with that. Is there a door I can go through? Why can't I go through this door? How do I get out of here? Uh -huh. yeah, I don't know what it wants uh, me to do. I'm trying to work it out as well. Can I, can I climb that? No. Do so I have to build? I've got lots of things. Do I have to build? Hang on. Press hold, R, hold L2, L3 to augment wheel. What are we looking at here then? Silences. It wants me to do something to my augmentation wheel. Smart yeah, vision. That's, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I was listening to you. Sorry. <laughs> and then circle to exit. So activate smart vision. Oh, okay. I see. So you're looking for a crack in the wall because your smart vision will show you structural weakness. Ah, okay. Uh, so you get to use your fancy robot arms to smash through stuff. Okay, how did you get there? Sorry, I help. Oh, um, so basically, okay. hold Smart triangle, vision, push up. Yeah. Oh, and a so side. many. It's oh. like rubbing oh. your no, belly it's and just patting your head at the I'm same not, time. I'm not actually reading the text on the screen. That's probably the problem. <laughs> There's so much going on there, though. It's a little bit uh. open locked door. Well, I haven't got a key, so. Oh, and then I have to activate it. Ah, oh, there it is. That's where I would have punched the wall anyway. So, um, interesting. 
don't know really what I'm looking and for And I've here. just punched through the wall. So how do I get through the wall? I like that. A little bit of a jump. I'm just throwing I'm not really a... Oh, and I guess I go through this door here. This door is locked. I've got a gun. Why can't I shoot the door? I've given up on the door. Disabled. I'm just throwing boxes around. It's fun. See if I can get it up onto disabled. that uh, light. Hey! <laughs> so what? So 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 far, okay. We we you. What is your out of the box feeling for this? We we haven't really killed anyone yet, and I know no. that's probably not the uh, not necessarily the uh, the well, milestone that we are we are I looking for. I get the for. impression it is more of a stealth game. I don't think the idea is kill as many people as you can, pot as many balls no. as you can. It's not John Virgo kind of shooter, but at the same time. I would quite like a little bit of combat, but I mean, I know I'm probably just impatient. Right, keypad, use, disabled. Oh, um, guess what? Um, go behind the back of the fallen scaffolding and you'll find a, uh, you'll find a way into the generator room. Oh, lovely. Thank you. I was just throwing boxes. <laughs> <in the room. laughs> and then so. I can turn the breaker back on and then that'll probably open the door. And then if you've... Oh, yeah. But then don't there go back go. into the room because you'll get electrocuted. Oh, no, so, that looks um, like a bad way. Yep. Um, yeah, I just discovered that. Um, so did it kill you, well, or I... did you just get take a nasty uh, hit? It 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 hurt me quite All a right. lot. Consumable bio cell pick up. Hmm. Uh, maybe there is something in my options menu that will allow me to walk over that. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what? How then? How then do you get back? Ah, I've worked it out. You go up oh. and over. Up there and over? You go. Is there a ladder? Yeah, you go up. You go. No, no, there's a. You basically you go onto the generator. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, and then I guess you Fantastic. go up again. I'm just going to jump onto the lights. Oh. Yeah. And quite then you get over like that. There you go. Work out how to do that. But then if you'd have pushed your. L1 button. You'll see there's two, there's two guys on the other side of the door, two red targets. I say we drop those two, and then uh, we. Uh oh, hack! Go on then. What the hell? Oh. Am I supposed to be hacking this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me. I got, I right. got 20 I, seconds left. I pretty say, much. Uh, press X to capture node. Okay. Not a single clue X. what I'm doing, and uh, I just have to. <laughs> I am pushing X to capture the node. Press X. Oh. Without knowing a single thing, I apparently have hacked the door. Right, where are these How? guys? I really want to shoot them. I've only got a stun gun. It's fine. Enter tutorial you... mode. No. How did you move that then? How did you? Um... Oh, um, I just I moved from one thing to another. Uh, there were sort of weird wobbly nodule things, and I moved from one and then yeah, fortified them. So if you press, I think, square to fortify each one. I don't have that option. Stun gun. Oh, yes, I do. Now I do. Now I do. He's got a proper gun. I've only got a stun gun because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I wish I'd chosen a lethal. To a gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, what you get for going second. <laughs> can I open the door? Can I pick up his gun? I want your gun, Why mate. Why can't I open the door? Why can't, how did you get through this door? <laughs> I don't understand. Luck, I would suggest. Fortify. Right. All right, so I fortified that. So uh, I just had to, I fortified all of them and got to the green wobbly bit and then it uh, when the when the green wobbly thing had finished um, the door unlocked. I, been, I can only fortify one of them. Maybe. Is it because to... I've used the time? Is it because I've used back. the time? Uh, maybe Double I ran out of time. I'm having a real pistol. Uh, that, does that mean I'm never going to be able to get behind this door? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh. I've only got oh, two so rounds in this pistol. Not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy. How do I? Anyway, um, <laughs> so you've managed to actually stun two people. 
Which All the fun nice. of riding in <laughs> elevators and shooting people with stun guns. Well, I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so what, what's your what's your future bit? So we're going to come back to this after uh, a few hours, a few more hours of gameplay. Um, yeah. uh, well, what's your feeling so far? Um, my, my feeling out of the box is that um, I think if I was probably paying attention, it was quite a nice briefing. Yeah. Quite like the animation, the graphics, pretty good. Um, I quite like as much as I'd make fun of, like, oh, don't make me pick too many things at the beginning. <laughs> it's quite nice. I quite enjoyed the little problem solving. There was quite useful. The sort of like trying to work out how to get back without being electrocuted um, was quite helpful. Um, I consider this would be quite nice as a co-op game. I mean, we're playing it as two individuals, but as a co-op. Because one of us, one of us would have been like trying to hammer the door to death, and the other one would have been running around the outside of the room, which is pretty much what just happened. Yes. Um, one of us, one of us managed to open the door, and the other one didn't. <laughs> so um, I can see for a, a certain a certain amount that as a co-op game, it would probably probably work quite nicely. But yeah, I can't really complain. It, it's it's ticking all the boxes. I think I should have turned my my sensitivity up a little bit and I yeah, might I turn mine up adjust at the beginning. that. I normally do, I normally sort of just take it all the way to the top, but I thought I would um, spare any viewer motion sickness because um, I do tend to snap. Apart from not being able to get through a door for some reason, which I don't understand, um, I'm, yeah, I mean, I would like to have, would have liked to have killed someone in the first opening, <laughs> you know, opening introduction of the game, but overall, um, it, it seems like a game that I might actually be wanting to play through at this moment in time. Uh, your as, thoughts, 3T? As a free game, I'm actually quite pleased with this at the moment. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to go through at least the first level, and then I'm going to make a full decision. But at the moment, as much as I've made fun of it, I think I'm enjoying it. I've just died, mm. <laughs> but I think I'm enjoying it. Um... I think that's probably a natural point for me to end my first impression. <laughs> I a think... game over screen. <laughs> and I'm I'm trapped on the wrong side of a door. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay, we'll have a short break uh, from your ears and we'll come back to you with our uh, final thoughts. So we put some hours into Deus Ex Mankind Divided, and uh, let's start as ever with playability or replayability. So uh, what are your thoughts, 3T? Um, well, uh, I was a bit harsh on it, I think, during first impressions. Um, I have gone back, I have put a couple of hours into this game, um, and it is fun. I thought it was, it's very playable. Um, it's not what I originally thought it was when I picked it up. So going back, taking a bit more time and care, uh, I've had a lot more fun with it. How about you? Yeah, I would say the same thing. I mean, I, I expected it to be a first-person shooter, so I was expecting a lot of quite simplistic shooty-shooty-bang-bang. Bang. But there is a lot more problem-solving where you have to kind of go through and try and solve puzzles and... Uh, you know, for me, uh, it kind of lost me uh, when I when I was struggling to hack through doors. I still I don't ask, really understand. Did you how manage the door to hack a door? Works. I have basically, uh, I've guessed how it works. I, I still don't. I've read the I've read the cheat sheet. I've read the sort of the the little um, information you get about how to do certain things. Still don't quite understand it. Basically, uh, about half the time I managed to hack the door, half the time I don't. Um, and well, I, I, I restarted. <laughs> I restarted a new game file uh, because I wanted to go lethal because uh, non-lethal wasn't working for me the first time, and I wanted to go long range. I wanted to have a, a decent weapon at my side, and um, I thought, I wonder if it was a fluke. And in the course of my couple of hours playing, I hacked about three or four doors, and it didn't seem that 
difficult, so I don't know. It might just be that I fluked it every time, but I'm not sure. That's not me having a go by any means. I'm just no, I was interested no. well, I mean, to see for, if you for, managed with managed it. For example, I noticed in your in your playthrough, you went down in the elevator. Well, I managed to uh, hack open the uh, uh, the cage that was next to it that had some bits and pieces in there. Then I worked out I could climb over the top of a cage. Then I could punch the wall out and drop down the dead uh, the broken elevator shaft and surprise the guys. So I mean, there are different ways. To do different things you don't you know there are certain things you you could lift certain things and i guess there are certain augments that you can get that allow you to lift heavier items so there's more than one path to get to get through so hacking not for me but i've worked out how to get into places without which, hacking which i guess answers that it is quite replayable because you can look and find different solutions to different problems um, and if that's only oh, the first sort yeah. of a couple of hours then that's that's a good sign um, so what about any hidden catches? Anything gave you concerns when you were playing the game? Anything that you thought might be a stumbling block? Not really, no. Um, I Like, apart from... I, 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 the main problem I have is that there was a lot of information. There's a lot of information. Um, you have yeah. to sort of solve, read through puzzles and things. And, uh, it, you know, um, I mean, I started to find, uh, if I was reading through... Um, PDAs and things that I've picked up off of bodies and things that you could um, get the codes to get through the doors that obviously I couldn't hack and I just think there was just too much information pre presented in a block way Yeah. Uh, but then after sort of thinking about that some I, I think that uh, yeah but then that's, that's playability because then you have to dig into it then you have to take it serious and read it what about you? It's, um, yeah, very information heavy, like you say, very story heavy. I am not a particularly patient gamer, uh, and I found that I the fact that I couldn't just hammer the X button, or any of the buttons, because trust me, I tried them all, um, and not and get through <laughs> all of the, uh, the story stuff it was forcing down my throat, did become a little bit annoying. Um, but I could live with it because there is a good game underneath there. Um, it's just perhaps not necessarily one that I would have the patience for. So that takes us to the fun factor. I mean, you know, you, you, I mean, we, I, I think, don't think we are, neither of us are patient gamers. Um, <laughs> I like things to be quick and quick and dirty. I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I, I'm not sure I might have a little bit more patience to you. I don't know, mainly because I go after, I, I'm a trophy hunter myself. But uh, yeah. how was the fun factor for you? It's fun. Uh, once I understood what it was, uh, like you, I, I went into it assuming it was a sort of straightforward first-person shooter, but it's not that at all. It's a stealth game. It's all about, you know, finding clever ways to, to get around things rather than just kill all the bad guys. Um, I, mean, I, I wouldn't even say it's a stealth game because if you... I mean, a couple of times I, I, I had some fun... Um, towards the end of the end of the playing where i just said let's kill everyone on this level <laughs> <laughs> but you can do it in a stealthy way oh no i did it full out i've had enough ammunition right. and enough weaponry <laughs> i just thought let's just go forward and kill everybody i mean i died every time but i had a go you know <laughs> it, it's it's fun i think you we're talking about fun factor i would say it is fun um maybe not my kind of fun but it is fun Okay. Is that fair? Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I think it's probably, uh, I think it's probably my fun. I quite enjoyed it. Oh, well, that's good. So, um, along the lines of you know what type of game it was, uh, anything that it reminds you of, what games would you say it's similar to in your experience? Right. Well, or dissimilar to the most recent game that I would say it's similar to is uh, Prey, which is the same kind of sandbox game but in a bigger bigger environment um where you have to solve puzzles and work out how to get through doors and decide when to you know when to battle um i'd say there's a half-life element in there as well which is um uh, a game where you kind of have to solve puzzles and shoot things you know but also know when to choose your battles i'd say the game that it is most dissimilar to by square enix is um, uh, Just Cause 3, which is all about just <laughs> going in the front door and killing everybody. Um, but it's definitely more of a cerebral shooty-shooty bang-bang game um, at its extreme. <laughs> but 
it, it, it's yeah, it's about problem solving. There's a lot more problem solving than shooting in there. If you just want to pick up a gun, you know, pick up a gun and run around and shoot people, this may be not the game for you. But if you mm. enjoy cleverly trying to eliminate people, then this might be the game for you. And you? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's it's more it's definitely more Metal Gear Solid than it is Call of Duty. Mm. Um, the idea that you've got in your HUD the uh, the, the directions and the the, the sort of wedge of uh, visibility that the enemies have, and you're having to plot a route around them and stuff is very um, Metal Gear Solid. Um, and I did kind of enjoy that. I enjoyed taking cover. You've got sort of stealth takedown. So there's sort of a little bit of uh, the Batman Arkham games in there as well, if you've got mm. the time to sneak up on people and uh, and take them down in clever, interesting ways. Um, dissimilarities, I suppose, yeah, just what you've said as well. Um, it, it's, it, it's not your standard first-person shooter, and it doesn't want to be. It's its own thing, so... And I think I'll that's a good that. thing that it's his own thing as well. I mean, oh, I think all game you don't want. Uh, uh, quick question: did, did did you earn a trophy at all? No, I didn't. Um, we did just quickly discuss a, start, uh, a story point. Uh, there is at the end of of the uh, the first chapter, we both took that in very different ways. Uh, mm. And no, there was a certain character that I didn't save. <laughs> uh, I did, and I got a trophy because I wondered, what, what's this trophy for? Why have I got a trophy? Because I was sitting there thinking, the trophies are very thin and far. Because I, 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 I guess I've only really completed the training level, um, yeah. and uh, I'm into the first mission. So, um, but, uh, but yes, I, I saved someone. Um, so, at the end of the day, then, three <laughs> T, um, was this uh, was this worth the space, the time, um, the download, and the time that you've invested playing? I think it the is. Game? I, th I think I'm glad to have um, downloaded it. I'm glad to have played it. But um, I doubt I'll go much further with it. I, I, d I am pleased to have experienced Deus Ex because it's the first time I've played any of this sort of series. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm not going to... I probably won't delete it straight away, but I... Uh, I, I might not keep it. Um, I think you've you've probably had a better time with it than I have. Is that fair to say? Oh yeah, I'm I'm keeping it. I'm gonna get to the end. I want to see how many trophies I can get, how many ways I can play it. Um, I'm I'm gonna have fun with it. Uh, I, I I don't. I, I I think this is definitely definitely a keeper uh, until I need the space for something something else that comes along. Obviously, but. Um, but I've got plenty of space at the moment, so um, I think this is going to be here for the foreseeable future. I, I, I think the problem is it's a game that you have to be in the right mood to play. It's not a game you can just pick up and jump into. Um, no. I think it's a game that's designed for a more continuous play where you play for blocks of time. I mean, I put about three hours on the clock into the game. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, picking it back up again after, you know, not playing, I I, I kind of played through the uh, up until the, uh, the the trophy event. I played that in a very sort of slow, working out how to engage people, how to shoot people, ha how to explore things, finding the secret secret places that were hidden on the map. You know, opening things that perhaps maybe if I'd have just rushed through, I wouldn't have seen. Um, and then um, where I am now. I'm basically, I, like I said, I, I hit save and just went crazy and tried to kill as many people as I could, um, and that <laughs> ended me. Uh, but that's nice. That's there. That's only because I'm frustrated and I didn't didn't know where to go um, at, from that point on, um, because I'm like, but this is nice game where you can just go right, save it, walk away, come back tomorrow, and the solution might be there. Uh, but if you left this for a couple of weeks i think you well i would struggle i mean i struggle with the with the the keys i i still can't remember uh you know it's been a week and i can't remember how to punch through walls so i've had to blow <laughs> blow blow walls up but you know <laughs> and things like that so there's lots of little things that i think it, there there are lots and lots of um you know, lay, keyboard layouts that and it's very difficult to find the keyboard layout and actually assess what what is that button? Um, uh, because yeah. it's, it, it's very information rich. But I think that actually, at the end of the day, will add to it. So will this stay on my hard drive for the foreseeable future? Yes. So given 
the fun that you've had with it then, would you have spent money on it? Would you have paid for this? I think I would have done. I don't know if I would have bought this because because this, because I'm quite I've got, I'm very narrow in my in my games I actually buy. I don't know I would have bought it unless it had been recommended to me by a friend. Uh, mm. But it's probably one I would have picked up from, like, the the second-hand bin and maybe bought it for, you know, 20% less than retail, perhaps. Sure. Yeah. That said, um, now having played it, and also having played a Deus Ex previously on a PC a few more than a few years ago and I can't remember <laughs> which one it was um, and I don't think I, I got into that I don't think I was in the right place I think you have to be in the right place for this, this kind of game um, yeah. I think this is the kind of game that you and a friend you, you sit on a sofa in front of the screen one of you plays until he's had enough and he hands it to the other guy uh, and then he can have a break and then you've got two eyes reading the screen reading the text and trying to work out co-op playing local co-op playing is uh, is, is how i would see this game uh, as some kind of challenge i mean it, it it that that's i think that's one way of dealing with the information overload um yeah but to answer your question briefly would i have paid for it i think i would have done yeah now i would have done yeah Okay, I wouldn't. I, I I really wouldn't have paid for it. Um, like I, I think that was probably clear from what I've been saying. I have enjoyed it. I do see that it is a good game, but um, I it's it's me. It doesn't suit my gaming tastes. Um, and um, yeah, I suppose that's it. Really, I'm not patient enough for it. Uh, I would rather have something that I can just pick up, pick up a gun go through shoot some enemies uh, not have to think too hard I don't want three hours of story just to get to the next mission um, but like I say it's a very well made game it's got a lovely well there's a few different control systems but the, the main control system is really fluid and nice and moving from cover to cover is brilliant um, the HUD looks great the, uh, there's a couple of aiming issues with guns but I think that's mostly because gun is your last resort <laughs> So um, oh, yeah. that's I, probably I, they, why shooting people in the head is a bit harder. But uh, yeah, well, there, there are there are ways of, there are ways to do it. It, it isn't I like I said. I don't think it's designed to be. Um, uh, you know, th there's no snap block or anything like that. You are completely no. on your own. Um, I think sometimes we are spoiled in games where you know. The oh game yeah. Says, yeah, yeah. Let me aim for you. Um, and I quite like the fact that. Um, you know, when you're in a close quarter battle and there are three guys railing at you uh, and you've got a pistol and four rounds um, and, uh, you know, <laughs> basically you can miss once. <laughs> <laughs> I quite enjoyed that. Um, I had a couple of those moments where uh, I didn't play the game in a stealthy way at all, really. I, I kind of, whenever I, whenever there was a chance to kill someone with a gun, I killed someone with a gun. Um, mm. That's just my, my play style. Um, I enjoyed the the takedowns, the animations, the fact that you know if if you're engaging two people at once, then the animation uh, in, you know adjusts accordingly, and, and there are multiple different takedowns. Um, I think for free, I'm glad to have played it. If somebody bought it for me, I wouldn't get rid of it straight away. I'd uh, I'd give it more of a go, uh, but I would not seek this out and pay my money for it. See, I would, and I think overall, it's it, it like. It, it's got playability, and and I think it's um, a very good value, very good value um, on the PlayStation Network. If you think about it, this is a triple A game. This is one of those proper games. You think about your 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 month, you know, your yearly fee for using PSN um, has mm. just bought this game. <laughs> so this game True. is in no way free. Definitely, but this this you know, pick pick this game up now. Um, because um, while while it's while it's free on the PSM, because uh, uh, you know it would be it would be criminal not to, I think. So well, and that endorsement comes from both of us, uh, <laughs> even though you're not keeping it. Uh, no. So this is uh, Mike Papa Foxtrot, and this is Three T, and we were looking at Deus Ex: Mankind Divided, that is currently the freeloadable game from PlayStation Network, January two thousand eighteen.